Now, Dom, how do you deal with confidence? You mentioned where you started off in high school yes. and that you had challenges where you knew you had the voice, but at the same time, you weren't able to properly use that. How did it affect your confidence and how did you overcome it? Absolutely. So it affected my confidence in the sense that I wasn't confident in speaking publicly. Even, that's even the reason why I went into corporate South Africa and just settled for a job in human resources. Because people laughed at me, I didn't even think of it as a possibility in my life that I could stand in front of audiences and be able to affect them with my words and my dynamism and my power when I speak to the crowds. And as a result of that, I recognized that I needed to work on myself. Having come from the background that I came from, with the challenges that I experienced with my parents, the one thing that I've had to do constantly, and I do it till this day, is ensure that I expose myself to the kinds of messages that reinforce that I am good enough, that reinforce that I can contribute something that's positive to society. So from the books that I read, I mean, you're Think and Grow Rich, you're, you know, Richest Man in Babylon, um, I write what I like. So any kind of material that really builds the confidence, instills in me, that I'm on the right track, it's done wonders. I attend a lot of seminars. Mark is not a seminar person. I'm even surprised he's hosting a seminar. <laughs> right. And with those seminars, through the, you know, being exposed to the kinds of stories that you guys were also exposed to this morning, you realize actually you've got more going for you than you thought you did. Did any of you find that? You tell your story and people are thinking, wow. And you're thinking to that, I didn't think it was that amazing. But it's because inherently as human beings, it's called that conscious mind. You must recognize this, that your conscious mind exists in order to protect you. 